what I eat in a day with 72 pound Manjaro weight loss. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's 72 pounds down. I've been on Manjaro. I'm now on Manjaro. 15 milligrams going to be starting actually later tonight. Make sure you stay till the end. I'll show you everything about how I'm starting uh, a new titration up, but I'm going to show you everything that I eat in a day with a high protein focus while losing weight with Manjaro weight loss and Tara's appetite weight loss. Make sure that you click that subscribe button so you can see more of what I eat in a day and special thank you to Ellen and electrolytes for sponsoring today's video. So I'm going to show you at the end after what I eat in a day, I'm going to be titrating up for my first dose ever of taking Manjaro 15 milligrams, the highest dose of Manjaro. I'm very nervous, but let me show you how I prep for it. I'll show you at the end of this video, but let's dive into what I'm eating. So I have listed down below the recipes for what I eat in a day. We started off the day going to Middleburg for a holiday festival that they have where they release the hounds. It's called Fox and Hound down Main Street in Middleburg. I have not eaten at this point. I could not have coffee because there's really not bathrooms besides porta potties. So for my what I date in Manjaro, I'm just having air right now and enjoying the holiday festivities, watching the horses and the hounds go down Main Street, and then I'm going to chow down here. We ended up going across the street. There's a place called the Salamander where you can get to-go foods. And so after we saw the hounds, um, I was so thirsty because I hadn't had anything to drink in the morning. I guzzled that whole liter of Pellegrino all by myself. I got a charcuterie board. That thing was $20. It was massive. And I only ate probably a third, maybe a fifth of it. I had a fig. I was really focused in on the protein with my Manjaro weight loss, making sure I'm getting 100 to 120 grams of protein per day is always my focus. And particularly today, I'm on basically day seven of my shot. There's my family. They're having chips. They're having different things. That's great. They're having lemonades. That's great. Uh, for me, I'm trying to stay very focused, but I didn't eat this whole thing at all. I felt so badly wasting it and I couldn't carry it home with me. I did have maybe like an eighth of this soup. It was delicious. I was just so full. I was so full. Um, but I wanted to get my protein in. And after a few bites, the rest of my family ate the rest of it. So it didn't fully go to the waste, but that fig was good as was that brie the salami and their um, acorn squash soup. I had a few bites of that and it was absolutely delicious. So at this point I'm full. I had water. I had that and we're still in early morning. The whole thing going down to Middleburg was still very early in the morning. Absolutely delicious, but I am feeling very, very full. Um, and my family ended up getting some sweets later on and I just had the water and I was, I was a happy, happy clam. So we ended up going back home. I'm going to be doing a massive meal prep today. So let me show you all my recipes when we get home of everything that that I'm making. There was actually, I had heard um, that there was a big sale and we're going to talk about that in a minute, but first I need to have my coffee. We went home and I ended up getting my coffee. I'm making a chocolate chai coffee and using my electrolytes because it's shot day. I am heavily focused on my element electrolytes. Special thank you to element for sponsoring today's show. I have two sticks of element electrolytes on shot day to help prevent my Manjaro side effects. I notice when I don't take my electrolytes, I have massive side effects. And when I do, it's much easier. You can get your element electrolytes at drinklmnt.com forward slash queen, Q U E E N. With any purchase, you can get eight free sticks with your purchase on the drinkelement.com forward slash queen. But they have electrolytes for cold, and which you guys have seen in a ton of my What I Eat in Manjaro weight loss videos. Hey, there's a local farmer, by the way, that cream that I'm going to show you how to use to make this drink. He's my, he's my neighbor. He's a local farmer. Anyways, I digress. So I put coffee in there, put a splash of heavy cream, and then I used, you could use a half of a stick at, to a third of a stick of the chocolate chai. Now they have chocolate mint, um, which I'm going to make a delicious chocolate out of, which I'll show you in a next, another episode. Chocolate raspberry, chocolate caramel. I mean, they've got a ton of different flavors, but for this morning, my absolute favorite is the chocolate chai. I am completely obsessed with it. It tastes delicious. And I'm getting those sodium, magnesium, potassium, which for me, massively helps helps with my Manjaro side effects. I get bad body aches, headaches, um, and it has helped with my gastrointestinal too, but more so the body aches and headaches by taking the electrolytes, just a third to a half of a stick in there. And then I use one of those coffee mixers and I always splash it. Hello. This is, I'm literally like the Swedish chef from Sesame street where Royal living meets real life here at Countess of shopping, making sure you click that subscribe button, but I'm going to blend it all together and it tastes really 
delicious. And I know that I'm getting clean ingredients. I know that magnesium, potassium, and sodium is going to help my body. I heard about this Aldi sale on turkeys. I ran, honey. The way I grabbed my pocketbook and I ran to go get these because I wanted to get started. It's now reaching like late morning to early afternoon and I wanted to get my turkey started. So I grabbed one of their turkeys massively on sale. You can check after Thanksgiving or around Christmas time for turkeys and hams for protein focus. For me, I am stocking my freezer. Every time I see one of these turkey sales or ham sales, I'm buying them and I'll use those. They can stay in the freezer for quite some time to save some money on food costs, but I'm literally making a turkey breast. Mr. Freddy here, you guys know you love my co-host. Mr. Freddy wanted to help with a turkey too. He said, mom, I'm in it, but just make sure you give me some of the scraps of the turkey, which I totally agreed. I have my roasting pan. I'll link that in the description link below, as is my elemental electrolytes. I'll link those down in the description link below too. But I ended up starting to roast the turkey breast on the last episode of what I ate in a day for my Manjaro weight loss. I cooked a whole turkey. This time I wanted to focus in on for my lean protein. And I have found with Manjaro weight loss that lean protein helps with my gastrointestinal issues. I sometimes do have ribeyes or New York strip steaks or higher fat proteins, and it makes my stomach upset. So having lean protein is helpful for me. Now, this is going to feed my family for the next two to three days for protein. Um, there's more. There's more than just what's on that carving board. But um, I'm just going to cut it into little plate slices and slice it up. And whatever we don't eat in that two-day time frame, I'm just going to freeze it and we'll eat it in the future. And I can use it for turkey enchiladas or turkey wraps. If it's frozen, I'm not going to have it just the regular consistency, but it really cuts down on food costs by making it in bulk and then... And I freeze what we don't eat and it's so easy. Now you could do this upcoming protein bowl, which has 50 grams of protein or more with rotisserie chicken. You could easily get a rotisserie chicken from Costco or your grocery store or a big bulk store or make your own turkey. Um, I made my own turkey for last week's Manjaro meal prep, uh, but so helpful for Tara's appetite weight loss. And if you're on Wegovy weight loss, Zetbound weight loss, having something that takes a little bit of time to cook the lean protein, but then eating off of it for several days, just in different ways. I'm going to make some crispy chickpeas in the oven. You could also make these in the air fryer with garbanzo beans. I'm just going to go ahead and rinse them off. This is going to be part of my 50 gram protein salad. That salad is going to be amazing. It's a high protein Thai salad, kind of mixed and matched the recipe together, but I'm simply just rinsing off my garbanzo beans or chickpeas. I don't know what the difference is. Tell me what the, that's the same thing. Garbanzo beans and chickpeas are the same thing, right? right? Anyways, it's just a can of them. These have in there a ton of protein and it tastes so good. I'm going to dry them off to make sure I get all the moisture off. While I'm drying these, I set my oven to 400 degrees to preheat and we're going to cook the garbanzo beans in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. But first I'm going to dry them off and then I'm going to add some spices. You can make these crispy chickpeas a bunch of different ways with garlic. You can make them with Thai spice. You can make them with mint if you wanted more of like a Greek crispy um, garbanzo bean. It's really, really easy to make. The world's your oyster in terms of spices. Uh, my friend David said, Elizabeth, add more spices to your food and more seasoning. So I have been and it tastes so good. So I'm just simply putting them on a piece of parchment paper. My favorite baking sheets are Nordic wear. I'll link those in the description link below too if you're needing some new baking sheets. They're really versatile and I use them for so many things. So put those down and then I'm going to add some high, Mr. Freddy had to come in and help. He's like, mom, I would like a garbanzo bean, please. Um, so I just simply fan these out so they're not touching as much. I'm using a very high quality olive oil, extra virgin olive oil on there. And then I'm just coating all of the um, chickpeas with that extra virgin olive oil on there. Now I'm sprinkling some garlic salt. I wanted mine to taste more garlicky. So I'm using some garlic, cracked black pepper, and some pink Himalayan salt on there. You could do Malden salt or more of like a finishing salt on there. I just used, I wanted to kind of use out that. You can see it's at the end of its, it's end of its jar on there with the uh, f f fresh Jack's seasoning on there. I could, by the way, also use my element electrolytes. They do have an unflavored electrolyte version if you don't want flavors in them. Um, and so there's the end. I did burn them a little bit. Hello, I'm the Swedish chef from Sesame Street, but they're perfect. I wanted them really crispy. So here is going to be our Thai high protein, or it's an Asian salad with Thai influence on it. Um, so 
good, so easy. And again, we're going to eat off of this for the next two days in my household, one as a salad, and then I'm going to move it for tomorrow as a wrap. So you make it once and then you can eat off of it and it's saving so much money. So for the Thai dressing, I'm going to link a blog post down in the description link below. So if you are a visual learner, you can have the blog post and you can even print it off if you want to. You're going to use some rice vinegar, a little bit of honey, some peanut butter, and kind of goop this all together. Y'all, I am just splissing and splashing, and I'm trying to get rid of that honey. It's on its last life, too. I'm like, let me clean you out of my pantry. Um, ended up adding in there. I was like, I need a bigger bowl. She needs a bigger bowl. Please don't spill it everywhere. I don't want to clean it up. Um, so I realized my mistake in there. Ended up adding some tamari. There's a little sloppy doppy for you. And then also um, some sesame oil in there, too. And then a little bit of um, garlic seasoning in there as well. And then I'm just scooping that peanut butter. And I'm trying to get with the peanut butter and the honey. I don't think I did that quite right, but that's okay. We're learning. We're totally learning. I'm going to later scoop my vegetables in there to make sure I get every drop of that honey and the peanut butter because I didn't want to waste it. I ended up adding three tablespoons of water to kind of thin out the recipe. Um, it did need it to be thinned just a little bit, and I'm going to mix it all together, do the hokey pokey, and mix it all together. Now, I added some extra virgin olive oil just to get a little bit more high fat in there, and I love that extra virgin olive oil. It tastes so good. So I'm going to mix it all together and then I'm going to put this over to the side. I'm going to let it rest for a couple of minutes while I make and package together the rest of my salad. I'm using Thai spice in there from Fresh Jacks, but you could easily use a chili powder if you want it to be spicy. I'm a baby about spice. I want it to taste more Thai, less spicy, but you totally could do that too. Now, I am grating some fresh ginger. Y'all told me to use a back of a spoon. I got to do that next time. I got to do that. But for in the interim, I was making a ginger paste, if you will. Um, some fresh ginger. You could always use ginger powder if you don't have that. So I'm dumping a bag of coleslaw in there. You could use fresh cabbage if you have that. You could use, if you have leftover, what's left over in your fridge? Do you have leftover spinach or leftover lettuce you need to get rid of? You can kind of dump a bunch of vegetables that you have already in your refrigerator. And then I put a little bit of my dressing at the bottom and then toss the salad together with it. Really, really easy to do, getting those flavors in at the bottom. But this is the great thing about this recipe is in a day or two, it's going to absorb that in there and make that cabbage a little bit more squishy. And same thing with the carrots too. I bought the matchstick carrots in there because I wanted some color <laughs> and I wanted some crunch to go with it, adding a little bit more dressing on there. You see what I mean by having to thin out the recipe? I could have added actually some more water in there to thin it out even more just so all of the vegetables get coated or at least have some flavoring added into it with it. I added a lot of vegetables because I wanted, again, my protein focus is high protein and lots of nutrient-dense food for my 72-pound Manjaro weight loss and staying full, staying satiated while enjoying my food. So I got some water chestnuts, which I love. This was not in the original recipe, um, but I wanted to add some water chestnuts because I love water chestnuts. Rinse those off really, really well, and then I'm going to pat them dry. Just adds, you don't have to add these in there if you don't like water chestnuts. Add in what you like. Like truly, the that's my biggest... Um, my biggest encouragement is find foods that make you happy and that you're excited to eat on your Manjaro weight loss journey, your Terra Zepa type weight loss journey, your Zep bound weight loss journey, truly. Now I'm adding in there, I told you, I did not want to waste that peanut butter or that honey. So I'm literally just scooping vegetables on there. So it gets coated. It's again, Swedish chef, not the most professional way to do it, but man, did it make it taste so good. So flavorful, so filling with the peanut butter. You could switch out the peanut butter too, by the way, if you wanted to have almond butter instead. Again, I'm kind of cleaning out a little bit of my refrigerator, adding in some peppers that we had in there. And I wanted some shelled edamame. Um, I ended up cooking that in the microwave to steam them so they're hot and I let it just kind of cool a little bit. I took a half a cup of peanuts. You could use cashews with these if you wanted to use pepita seeds. You could use some sort of nut if you wanted to, or you could pass on it. But I took a half a cup of dried roasted peanuts and put them in a Ziploc bag and then used my little mallet to smash them. So there's little fine bits, kind of like a Thai pad Thai, you know, how they add on pad Thai, the delicious peanuts. I wanted that same um, texture and flavoring with my salad, my high protein salad. So I'm just whacking these. My eight-year-old boy wanted to do this so badly. I should have let him do it. Um, just whack those peanuts. Um, but if you wanted to use, again, cashews, pistachios, here's my cooked turkey that I had just made. I'm slicing it up into little fine bits in there. I'm 
going to coat this with dressing on there. It's a way to hide the protein in there for myself and for my family so they don't know that they're getting really good lean turkey in there because it's going to have the dressing on it. It's going to be flavorful with the mixture. Um, and it's just a great way for me to hide my protein. I don't know. Sometimes I get really weird. Anyone else like this or is it just me? Sometimes I get weird about protein. So I, I used to not really ever eat chicken. And so me doing this has been very exciting that I'm back into enjoying eating lean protein. So I'm going to mix it in a little bit more of that dressing too, add it on top. Um, but I have way leftover turkey. This is the great part about it. Now I'm just going to blend it into that big old bowl. Blend it in, honey. Just blend it in um, to make it absolutely delicious. And then the leftovers, if my family wants sandwiches with that turkey later on, or wraps. And again, I'm going to use this tomorrow, this exact same recipe. I'm going to use it in for tomorrow for wraps as opposed to like a salad. Today, it's just going to be a big old dump salad bowl. If you don't have big salad bowls, I will link them in the description link below with my Manjaro shopping list. On my Majaro shopping list, it's got a lot of little things that I didn't realize I needed um, as I go through on my Majaro weight loss journey. So I'm going to add at the bottom of the bowls um, some lettuce that we have. You could use spinach. You could use more coleslaw. You could skip this step, but I wanted to get some greens in there in addition. And then I'm just going to scoop that mixture that has the dressing already on it. The dressing is already included. My husband was very, the count was very concerned about where's the dressing. He was very concerned about where is the dressing. It's already on it, babe. It's already on it. So, uh, with this, there's the mixture. It was so good. Over 50 grams of protein in there because we have in there the peanuts. We've got Got the roasted garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Again, I took the burnt ones. I gave my family the non-burnt one, the non-burnt ones. It's got the roasted chickpeas in there. It's got the turkey. It's got the edamame in there. It's got the peanuts. You can truly power pack this with protein. Very, very high in protein. Very, very nutrient dense, saving you a ton of time, saving you a ton of money. Again, I got that turkey massively on sale at Aldi. I do like to try to buy local fresh produce. I live in rural Virginia, literally have farms in my backyard. So when I can buy local chicken or local turkey from local farmers here, I do. But that sale was too good to pass up. And for the Christmas holiday season, I will be looking for the after Christmas sales um, for hams that are on sale. And you can do the same after Thanksgiving. Look for discounted turkeys. Now, everyone was talking about persimmons um, and I wanted to try one. So I bought those at Costco. Uh, Mr. Freddie and I were, they look like tomatoes. They're supposed to be like a sweet dessert. I ended up chopping them up. I didn't really like them very much, but I'm very glad that I tried them to learn that I didn't, I wasn't a huge fan. If you're a fan, tell me in the comments because maybe I just ate it wrong. I am organizing my pantry. Do you guys want to see that in an upcoming YouTube video? Tell me in the comments below, but I'm washing out all of my glass pantry organization containers to get them because I'm a germphobe. Hello, germphobe here. So I'm going to be using these containers. If you want to see that episode, tell me. I'll make sure I show you everything. But I've been reorganizing and uh, minimalizing. So I didn't want dessert tonight. I'm really full. And I decided to make a simmer pot with all of the delicious smells for the holiday season. Um, didn't want to eat this stuff just wanted to smell it. So I put it in a simmer pot. Um, and I absolutely love the way that it smelled and made our house smell so fragrant. I forgot to add the cinnamon stick, but it's time friends. It's time to take my Manjaro injection. Uh, I'm going to be taking that 15 milligrams. I'm full with my element electrolytes. I'm full with my protein packed meal to help with, um, side effects. And for me, um, just feeling really, really good going into taking this new dose of the shot. So, uh, let's go. <laughs> my kid's downstairs, and so I'm running upstairs to go do this. I don't want my kid to see, so I'm going to go run and go do it privately. I don't know why I am so nervous, but I'm really nervous. I'm, like, really, really nervous. So I'm just going to bite the bullet, as they say, but I'm a little bit nervous. It's going to be fine. It's going to be great. I'm going to do my stomach. I'm going to do my stomach. I always have this doubt, like, did I do it right? And then I did, it went in. And I saw afterwards, like there was in my, I did my stomach, a little bit of liquid left over. So I know that I injected it right. I'm just, I don't know why I get so nervous about it. 15 milligrams, I'm feeling good. We'll see how I feel. I'm gonna go actually go work out right now. I'm gonna go ride the um, recumbent bike. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I'm three minutes into working out. I'll make that four minutes now. Woo! I got my Golden Girls t-shirt on. 
washing a little trashy Jersey Shore, get my sweat on. I feel pretty good. My stomach feels like I have butterflies, like I'm really nervous. And, I, and that's why it's not butterflies, it's like, in, like it's food digesting. Um, so I'm just gonna keep staying in tune with my body, staying with my tune with my body. And after this, I'm gonna get my electrolytes to my element electrolytes. Make sure you go ahead and check out Element Electrolytes, the link down in my description to get your free eight pack with any purchase. They have both the hot drink electrolytes or you can get cold drink electrolytes too. And for all of my recipes in today's What I Eat in a Manjaro Weight Loss Day, they'll be linked down in the description link below. As is all of my articles on ZetBound too. I have over 50 blog posts, 50 articles on Manjaro on countessofshopping.com with 100 articles gonna be added by the end of the month. So if you have questions on Manjaro, or is that bound? Hopefully these will help you out on your weight loss journey. Make sure you take medical advice from your medical provider. See you soon, friends.